I like to just create and destroy with my artwork. I feel like the earth's going to hell in a handbasket. I try to recycle everything that I touch. It just scavenges through work. I work in the film industry right now. I get paint flats, walls of all the sets. So instead of it going to the dumpster, I just use it in my artwork. You can take something that's going to spend forever in landfill, or you can make something beautiful out of it. I can't just work on one painting. See which one interests me at the time. I'm trying to decide what my next move is. And I just kind of go through this database in my head of all these paintings I've made, all these different ideas and techniques. Finally, I just come across a painting that I did five years ago. There was that one technique that turned out real cool, and I totally forgot about it. I'm going to try that again. 80% of the time, I know what I'm doing. The last 20% is me experimenting. I'll build up, and then I'll tear it back down whether it's painting another layer of paint on top of it or sanding. Sometimes I'll just splatter paint all over it, something that took me forever to follow all these lines perfectly. My artwork is just layer upon layer of ideas. I moved to Orlando, Florida, and that's where I met my wife, Bethany. I got a little daughter now, sweet baby Bree. That's whenever my artwork started taking a turn for I wanted to make a living out of being an artist. I found out about Mutiny a couple months after I moved to Atlanta. I came across uh, Paris on Ponts. JP was sitting there. I started talking to him and he's like, I'm a part of Mutiny and it's an artist collective. What kind of artwork do you do? You have that drive. I want you to dip your toes in the water of Mutiny. I sold a painting within the first month. JP wants to help artists out. He wants people to see the vision that he has and live it with him. I'm glad I jumped on board.